Knowledge of love. Live with your wife in knowledge. Live with her in knowledge. How do you live with your wife in knowledge? You live with her by the application of God to your wife. You see, your woman is your womb. There is where you birth everything, not just your child. Your business is born in her. Your, 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 your next step is in her. Whatever you say, her agreement with you is the establishment. If she agrees, you are home run. That's where the favor is. That's why it tells you that, you know, if, 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 if a man doesn't do these things, he hinders his prayers. Because the woman is what expands whatever it is your vision. So you see, if your woman begins to say, this friend is not good for you. Honestly, it is not for us to decide if it is loyalty or not. We don't even have that time. Do you know why? I want to agree with my wife. Because it is not about my friend. You see, my friend, I am, I am friends with. But my wife, I am one with. What is she seeing I'm not paying attention to? It could be something so emotional. It could be something so... Even let's call it... Let's call it... Perception. Yet, my understanding of unity makes me agree with her. Honey... I don't even want to know what it is that you hate or don't hate about him. I know you're a woman of love, but whatever you're seeing, God will see us through. If you want me to limit what it is I limit, sure, I'm for you because you are my commitment. You are my commitment. You are my covenant. What you are doing is you are practicing unity. You are allowing unity to lead you and humbling you because there are certain times our wives can tell you, let me ask you a question. <coughs> what if your wife, what if your wife told you that uh, Canada has given you now the biggest contract, the first contract you, you, you had was only a million dollars. But this contract they are giving you is $27 million is going to pay you in one year. You are, going to, uh, dry, uh, you are going to fly a very commercial plane. It's very big. And your wife tells you, don't take that contract. According to your human mind, honey, I'm making a million dollars a year. This is going to make me 27 times more. What do you mean don't do it? And all your wife is saying don't do it. What you don't understand is there is something inside of that message being given to you. Your humble spirit is the patience you will, you will adapt so you will know the end of that instruction. Because you realize that maybe your wife said no and you said sure, if you don't see it, I'm not going to do it. And later, three years later, the business went under a huge scrutiny under federal government where most of the pilots were, were arrested and they had no clue what was going on. See, we live not to see the things that are being said. We only live in the sufficiency of God's grace. That means what he has made us one with is all we are connected to. Your wife is what is the most important thing to you right now. It is not your, your fighting perception. It is you are agreeing under God. You are connecting as one under God. That's it. Because when your, your state of union is strengthened, when the two of you can see under one accord, that is when you can do all things. That is when you can do so much potency and so much to this world. Because you live as one flesh. Whatever you think she does, once you are the seed, she becomes the womb where you plant your seed. You will move concurrently, efficiently. You will move exactly as God has predicted and spoken. Okay, let me calm down a little bit. Okay, calm down, calm down. See, as a man, I grew with this tradition of mindset. And everything we've been told as men to make decisions and doing it with other men and always neglecting the women, our wives. And one thing I've come to realize is the biggest blunder, is the biggest deception that has ever been purported to any man. Do you know why? What head? What is a, a bodiless head? Let me tell you what that is. What head has no body? That is a head that can make decisions with no movement. That is a head that can decide everything and lose everything because he has no progression. But a head with a body is one that is in unison, one that is concurrent, one that works in synchrony and it walks to the direction because a head with a body is what can accomplish what a purpose is. So say I do.